a from systems question from the operating system they are saying that we have a linear list based directory implementation in the file system such that each directory is a list of nodes where so let's say we have this directory in the form of nodes and each of these node represents a each directory is a list of nodes so this is our directory let's say one and it is a list of some number of nodes and each of these nodes it contains a file name along with its metadata so this is the implementation of the file system that is being followed in this particular operating system so what they are saying now such as the list of pointers to the data blocks so what these nodes are actually they are storing the name and the metadata which will include the pointer to the actual location where that file is present these nodes don't represent the actual files they have the pointers to the place where the contents of the file are actually stored so this is the directory structure that has been given and for this directory foo there is one particular directory called foo so for this particular directory let us call it foo and for that particular directory they are asking which of the following operations will necessarily require a full scan for the successful completion so this foo is a directory that is arranged in the form of a list of nodes like this it is kind of a linked list data structure and every node is having the name of the file along with the metadata including pointer to the actual file location so this is how our foo looks like and in this let us check what are the operations given creation of a new file in foo so for this we need to understand that in one particular directory no two files can have the same name their names have to be unique so this property has always to be followed and now if we want to create a new file then what can we do we can simply create a new node and attach it at the start or at the end of the linked list right but we will need to make sure that whatever name we are assigning to this particular file does not already exist in any of these the unique name property has to be followed so if you want to insert this node a then we will have to traverse this entire list and check if the file name a is already existing or not so this will require the complete scan and this was msq type question so multiple can be correct let us also check the next options deletion of an existing file from foo now let us say we want to delete a file named e so for that we will need to traverse until we find e at this point we find e we will delete it but let us say we wanted to delete just b so we can directly delete it without any traversal so this operation may or may not always require the traversal the earlier we find that particular file we will delete it and then whatever let us say this is our file we found this is our uh, directory structure and in that we found this particular node corresponding to the file that is to be deleted so we will traverse only up to this point and not after that so this deletion operation may not always require the complete scan and they have said will necessarily require so that is not always true for this so it will be incorrect then the next one renaming an existing file again for renaming we will need to follow this particular constraint that the names have to be unique so if there is one particular file d and i want to rename it to a then i will need to traverse the entire directory named foo and check if there is already existing a file with the name a in it or not so again this operation necessarily requires a complete scan because after scanning all the nodes only then we can decide whether that particular rename operation can be done or not and then coming to the last one opening an existing file in foo so now again for this operation it does not have any constraint involved in it just like the deletion operation there is some file that we will be locating and as soon as we find it the all the files after that will not be traversed so we will traverse only up to a certain point until we find that particular file that has to be opened and after that we will not traverse we will skip that part so here 
in option 2 and 4 only partial traversal may be required in some cases complete traversal may also be required but this necessarily require condition is failing for them so we will be only going with the options first and third 